In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Welcome to this act of Holy Communion during lockdown from St John the Baptist, West Byfleet. Whenever and from wherever you are watching this service, you are most welcome. Although we are separated by the effects of the current public health guidelines and coronavirus, we are united in faith, in the name of Christ and in the power of the Holy Spirit. And so we come to worship together now, praying for a real encounter with God through our screens, through our headphones, which will feed us and change us and strengthen us. You can follow this service on the service sheet downloadable from our website. This is the day that the Lord has made. We will rejoice and be glad in it. Give us, O Lord, a vision of your glory, that we may worship you in spirit and in truth, and offer the praise of glad and thankful hearts. Amen. moment now to recognise our shortcomings before God and our need for his forgiveness and grace. Gracious God, merciful as well as mighty, we ask forgiveness for our sin. We admit all the things we have said, done and even thought that have saddened you, shamed us and hurt others. Please forgive us. We admit too all the things we left unsaid and undone that would have gladdened you, honoured us and healed others. Please forgive us. Forgive us our sin, we pray, and set us free as if on a brand new day to say with heartfelt joy, You are our God, mighty and merciful, loving and forgiving. Amen. Almighty God, who forgives all who truly repent, have mercy upon you, pardon and deliver you from all your sins. Confirm and strengthen you in all goodness, and keep you in life eternal, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. God, our refuge and strength, bring near the day when wars shall cease, and poverty and pain shall end, that earth may know the peace of heaven, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Home, you may wish to stand, as is the custom, to observe the reading of a gospel passage in a service of Holy Communion. If you're able to do that, you might like to do so now. Hear the gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ according to St John. Glory to you, O Lord. Words of Jesus. As the Father has loved me, so I have loved you. Abide in my love. If you keep my commandments, you will abide in my love, just as I have kept my Father's commandments and abide in his love. I have said these things to you, so that my joy may be in you, and that your joy may be complete. This is my commandment, that you love one another as I have loved you. No one has greater love than this to lay down one's life for one's friends. You are my friends if you do what I command you. I do not call you servants any longer, because the servant does not know what the master is doing. But I have called you friends, because I have made known to you everything that I have heard from my Father. You did not choose me, but I chose you. And I appointed you to go and bear fruit, fruit that will last, 
so that the Father will give you whatever you ask him in my name. I am giving you these commands so that you may love one another. This is the Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, O Christ. And so we pray now for the world and for those in need. The prayers this week include the response, Father, by your Spirit, bring in your kingdom. So as you hear me say, Father, by your Spirit, you are invited to respond with, bring in your kingdom. You sent your Son to bring good news to the poor, sight to the blind, freedom to captives, and salvation to your people. Anoint your church afresh with your spirit. Rouse us to work with people of goodwill throughout West Byfleet, that we may welcome, worship, and serve in God's name together. We pray for this parish and local community during these strange and difficult days, for homes, schools, national and local businesses located here, and for all who serve, support, or work in West Byfleet. We long and ask for a way through and an end to the suffering caused by coronavirus, and for the grace and love to care for each other each day. Father, by your Spirit, Bring in your kingdom. Send us to bring help to the poor and freedom to the oppressed. We hold before you, Lord, the weakest and most vulnerable in West Byfleet, whether their frailty be on the grounds of age, medical condition, or family, social, and economic circumstances. We especially pray for those who are struggling with loneliness, anxiety or depression, that they may know and encounter others to share their situations with and to know also that they are loved by you and by us. Father, by your Spirit, bring in your kingdom. Send us to tell the world the good news of your healing love. Send us to those who mourn to bring joy and gladness instead of grief. Lord, we pray for all who in the midst of poor health and even grave illness are seeking fresh comfort, hope and just a glimpse of joy today. From our parish prayer list, we pray for those in various places and situations from whom and for whom prayer has been asked. And so we name before you Chrissy, Mary, Joyce, Joy, Alan, Bill, Christine, Malcolm, Denise, Martin, Anne, Anna, Christine, and Nota. We pause as we bring them in our hearts and minds into God's presence. If you know one or more of these people, you may wish to picture their faces. But even if you don't, you can picture the arms of God reaching down to them now. Today is Armistice Day, and we celebrate this act of Holy Communion and pray for people, for the Church and for the world in a memorial chapel. And so we mark again the 36th 
from West Byfleet who died in the First World War and the 21 in the Second World War. As we offer them to God, we continue to remember them. And in terms of our church and parish community, today we also remember with gratitude and in grief our friend and brother Roger McDermott, who passed into glory on Monday. We give thanks for his life and his fellowship with us. We ask that he may rest in peace. And we pray for Karina and her children, and for Sean and his children, as they mourn for him. Father, by your Spirit, bring in your kingdom. Lord of the Church, strengthen us to proclaim that the time is here for you to save your people. Please hear our prayer and make us one in mind and heart to serve you and to love one another as you first loved us. For blessing and glory and wisdom, thanksgiving and honour and power be to you our God, forever and ever. Amen. So now, where we are sitting, we offer to God and to each other thoughts and wishes and greetings of peace. The peace of the Lord be always with you. As we come to break bread and pour wine, as our Saviour taught us, I do this on behalf of the church here in West Byfleet. We are not able to celebrate today this Eucharist in the way that we would wish, but we offer it to God and ask that spiritually he feeds each of us, whether we are able to receive bread and wine physically or not. Above all, we recognise God's presence here now and also in the hearts and homes of each who are watching and taking part in this service. The Lord is here. His Spirit is with us. Lift up your hearts. We lift them to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right to give thanks and praise. It is right to praise you, Father, Lord of all creation. In your love, you made us for yourself. When we turned away, you did not reject us, but came to meet us in your Son. You embraced us as your children and welcomed us to sit and eat with you. In Christ, you shared our life that we might live in him and he in us. He opened his arms of love upon the cross and made for all the perfect sacrifice for sin. On the night he was betrayed, at supper with his friends, he took bread, gave you thanks. He broke it, gave it to them, saying, Take, eat, this is my body which is given for you. Do this in remembrance of me. Father, we do this in remembrance of him. His body is the bread of life. At the end of supper, taking the cup of wine, he gave you thanks and said, Drink this, all of you. This is my blood of the new covenant which is shed for you, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in remembrance of me. Father, we do this in remembrance of him. His blood is shed for all. As 
we proclaim his death and celebrate his rising in glory, send your Holy Spirit that this bread and wine may be to us the body and blood of your dear Son. As we eat and drink these holy gifts, make us one in Christ, our risen Lord. With your whole church throughout the world, we offer you this sacrifice of praise and lift our voice to join the eternal song of heaven. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of power and might, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. As our Saviour taught us, so together we pray. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. The bread we break is a sharing in the body of Christ. Christ is the bread of life. The cup we take is a sharing in the blood of Christ. Christ is the true vine. God of peace, whose Son Jesus Christ proclaimed the kingdom and restored the broken to wholeness of life. Look with compassion on the anguish of the world, and by your healing power make whole both people and nations, through our Lord and Saviour Jesus Christ. Amen. Jesus, Lord of time, Hold us in your eternity. Jesus, image of God, travel with us the life of faith. Jesus, friend of sinners, heal the brokenness of our world. Jesus, Lord of tomorrow, draw us into your future. Amen. May God give to you and to all those you love, his comfort and his peace, his light and his joy in this world and the next, and the blessing of God Almighty, creator, redeemer and sustainer, be with you now and forever. Amen. As we have received God's blessing, may we now rise and take blessing to others. Thanks be to God.